In Costa Rica, there are three species of vampire bats, two of which are rare and feed principally on the blood of birds. One of these is the hairy-legged vampire bat. This bat has been found to roost as scattered individuals or in groups of two or three in caves, hollow trees, and tunnels. However, a cave on the Nicoya Peninsula has been found to harbor a small colony. Bat biologists can capture the bats as they emerge from the cave using fine mesh mist nets. After careful removal from the mist net, every bat is weighed and measured. They are also checked for ectoparasites. Puedes ver el pulgar y el pulgar te das cuenta de que es totalmente otra cosa. Si es un vampirito. Really rare. While having the face of a common vampire bat, it has much larger eyes, shorter thumbs, and of course, hairy legs. They can change their face 180 degrees there. Is that okay? And, and indeed, it's much more gentle. Big eyes. Hairy legs. The lower chin like divided to like a blood cutter. If they don't get food one in one night, but then they're in big trouble because uh, at least every two nights they need blood. If they cannot find it, they don't feel well, another probably from the colony will give it blood, thereby regurgitation. This is a total altruism behavior in these bats. Amazing. It's assumed that hairy-legged vampire bats feed on the blood of larger birds like these chachalacas and tinamous and also guans. However, they do also find a chicken coop with holes in it and can make your chickens rather anemic. They usually sneak up on sleeping birds and make an incision in their cloaca and then lap up the blood. Lapped, not suck. Got it? Eduardo Artadia has been studying these bats for over a decade. One way to find out where they go after flying out of the cave is to place a radio transmitter on its back. Pure research, all new. This transmits signals for a couple of weeks and then falls off. There it goes, and now with a Yagi antenna, one can calculate from which direction it's going. This one was found resting nearby with the help of a thermal camera. The transmitter is so light that in no way impedes their flight. It takes off and flies off the mountaintop, and now Eduardo waits until it returns to the cave. Ahora no hay nada de señal. 